Lesbian teenager and sleepovers? I need advice about my daughter having her friends to sleepover. We've always been okay with it. In fact, we've encouraged it because we think it's good to develop those friendships. For additional context, when she was younger, we would always make up a second bed for her friend to sleep in, and sometimes it got used, sometimes the friend would share a bed with my daughter, and they'd stay up late watching YouTube videos or whatever. Now our daughter is 14 and openly gay, and we are very supportive and accepting of it. She continues to have sleepovers, but we are growing concerned because her social group consists of a lot of gay kids so that means she's also having her lesbian pan friends spend the night. We are worried that things might be getting physical during the night when we're asleep. My question is how do we juggle letting her have her friends sleepover versus keeping her from doing things she's not ready to be doing? If it was a male friend we'd obviously not allow the sleepover and no one would even question that. Additionally her friends still continue to sleep in her bed. We've made it clear to her that needs to stop. We told her it's because she's too old to be doing that. She claims it's a Gen Z thing and we millennials wouldn't understand. Help. At 14 I think you are going to have to educate instead of manage. You have laid the groundwork for good and bad judgment by now so it's time to provide as much education as you can. You might also talk with the parents of the kids who come over about your thinking. They also should have a say on this. Especially the bed sharing. Sleeping in the same bed as your friend is not just a Gen Z thing. Lol. Earlier generations were doing that and holding hands with their friends. It was just seen as girls being close to each other. Teens fool around. This isn't news. You can argue till you're blue in the face that they shouldn't but in the end. If they want to do it they'll find a way. If they don't have a safe environment to do so. They'll do it in unsafe environments. If not here then somewhere else. I'm of the belief that parents should educate their kids. Not control them. Educate them on the concept of consent and safe sex rather than telling them outright not to. Because that has never worked for kids in the past and it will never work for kids in the future. Female friendships are so important. Even for gay girls. Please don't stop letting her sleep in the same bed and doing all that stuff. If she wants to fool around. She will. But I think a strong platonic bond is so important. I am gay and I still kiss my friends on the cheek and sleep in the same bed as them. I really admire that level of closeness and affection. I am not attracted to them. I'm bi. I had male and female friends growing up. Doesn't mean I automatically wanted to bang my friends. Also, if she's gay, wouldn't it be safer to let her male friends sleep over? As a lesbian, please don't isolate her. My parents assumed I wouldn't do anything when I had my queer friends over. And they ended up being right. My friends and I did the exact same stuff straight girls did. But some of my friends' parents wouldn't let me stay the night because they knew I was gay. And I was excluded from birthday parties and sleepovers and important social events. Teens will be teens. And many will fool around. It's better that if it happens. It's in a private residence and they're given the freedom to be responsible. And hey. At least she won't get pregnant and has a lower risk of getting STDs. You can't stop her from getting physical with other people. But you can educate her and keep her safe. If she's really driven to get physical. She will find a way. Just make sure she knows safety and stuff like that. I'd just be happy to know that she's not going to get knocked up. TBH. You won't stop her anyhow. Hormones always find a way. Wouldn't it be good if she makes this experiences in a safe space at home? It isn't she can get pregnant. Right? Teens straight. Gay. Bye. Whatever. Are gonna fool around. Tale as old as time. 
The Gen Z excuse is BS. Yeah. Maybe they are touchy-feely in a non-sexual way sometimes but yeah. Stuff would escalate. Even if it's not her but other friends doing stuff. I feel like just because her and her friends are gay. That doesn't mean they're gonna be up all night having orgies. Also she can't get pregnant so what is the worry here? I think it's really cool you are so supportive of this and with that being said she probably feels supported and that goes a long way. Well, it's not like she will get pregnant? That's a plus. Regardless she will do what she will do. Wouldn't you rather it be in the safety of your own home? Let me ask Op when you were a teenager did you fool around and experiment? She's a teenager. You can't decide for her what she's ready to be doing or not. You can just educate her on the ramifications of physical actions between friends and your expectations of her in those scenarios. You'll never be ready for her to be sexually active. All you can do trust her and hope for the best. Can't speak for how it would be a sleepover for a gay person. But this control is part of the reason I resent my family and haven't spoken to them in four years. Find out what kind of parent you want to be. Are you afraid of something? You have words. Communicate. She's her own independent person. Not for you to do what you want her to. Good luck. STDs still happen. Maybe for Valentine's Day give her a basket with all appropriate STD preventatives. Dental dams. Etc. And put a big red bow on it. Card reading we hate to see you grow up. And would love you to stay healthy. Love mom and dad downstairs. A little humor never hurt. Tell her you accept. Trust and love her. Set your boundaries for behavior in your house. Our daughter came out at age 13. It's now 14 years later and she's still with the same girlfriend a person my wife and I think of as family. They went through high school, college and grad school together. They are both strong, kind, educated, healthy, well compensated professionals. My parents have never stopped me from doing anything. They've just made me better at hiding it. I don't think I'm in a place to add any more than that though. Lol these comments she's 14 just let her have sex it's normal skull and crossbones. Okay I'm 15. I think the thing she means is that. Queer kids. Especially Gen Z is more averse to sex? Yeah. I see all these comments about fooling around but honestly. We center more around platonic relationships. Honestly I would just be open about it and tell her not to mess around before she's older or when. She's really ready. Or to keep the door open and she'll get it probably. Friends sleep in the same bed all the time. There's nothing wrong with it. So I know this is unpopular. But switch to living room sleepovers. The lack of privacy will help along with making sure she is well educated on sexual health. I had a friend who was a lesbian and this is how we did sleepovers. At the time it was slightly annoying. But now as an adult I understand why. But her and my mom would let us rent movies and get us special snacks popcorn whatever to make it. More of a special deal to be in the living room. Edit we also didn't have TVs in our rooms until high school so it was a treat to watch TV late at night. Up. I think you are in a tricky spot here. I also think you are a really good parent for thinking through the nuances here. From experience. Here is my advice to you. Just keep an open dialogue with her. Hopefully she will be honest with you about which girls are friends. And which girls are more than friends. You are not out of bounds for not wanting to have your 14-year-old have potential romantic partners. Sleepover unsupervised. It's hard because cutting up platonic friendships will be damaging to her. But if you put trust in her to be honest. Hopefully you can navigate this together. UARW a great dad. I think it's important to support her and explain to her your concerns. Maybe try find out the true intentions behind the sleepover? And there's always the good old rule of the door stays open.